Hey guys, Shaber1000 here. You may, may have noticed in one of my other videos, I gave you a quick glimpse of this thing. Okay? So, let's go ahead and open this up and let's check it out real close. Okay guys, I got this in with my um, free tool thing that I did my treasures on. It's a little rusted here, but this thing is in very good shape. Okay. Um, but what I have noticed, well, it's got, it's got three bits and that's what it's supposed to come with. Uh, what's this say? can't tell what that says. Hong Kong British Empire okay all right but what I did notice with it is inside of here is the light there's a light bulb um, it does have a little bit of rust on it but this thing is in good shape um, let's take this out I remember my dad having a bunch of these too you know I mean is that ash flash well if this works then maybe we can check it out this comes out geez one broke it probably is now okay it looks like it seems to be okay see the filament right across the two things right there see there's like a little line there see it that's the filament it looks to be intact so let's screw this on here uh, this thing may have never been used. Um, it doesn't look like it. I don't know if they shipped these with the bulb out of them or not. I don't know why the bulb would be loose like that, but um, looks like it it has been used a little bit. You can tell by that Phillips there. See, so it has been used and straight. But why they would take the light out, I'm not sure. So let's go ahead put this back in here like that. It's got these notches it sets in so let's get this sitting down in them notches and we'll get our beauty ring back on. I said beauty ring because I'm a car guy and I don't know the actual name of it. I'll make sure it's shut off. Uh, this thing takes two C batteries. I just happen to have two C batteries and the reason why I have two C batteries was because we needed D batteries for something one time and all we could get was C. Oh, I know what it was. It was the claw machine. So, um, that's what it was. And I made these work just to test it out. So, I, I got two more in case these batteries are in there. I don't know. I may sell this. I may put this online if it works. So there's one click there for something. I click there. So, let's see. If I've got to have this a certain way, I don't know. It does look like it may be a little dirty. That's where it makes contact right in here on this. So let's bend this back a little bit. Maybe it'll give it some more room to... Uh... Mm -hmm. Of course, I could have this in wrong too. I'm not sure. Something coming on on the one click. There's two clicks for some reason. It's supposed to, I think you're supposed to, there it is. You put it on the first, there's off, nothing's going to happen. You put it on the first click and you can give an SOS. So it works as a flashlight too. And then all the way up is on. So. Screw our beauty ring back on here again. I will look this up and if I find out anything about it, I'll put it on the screen 
right now. There's the first click, pushing button, it's coming on. Second click, it's on. So, see, the theory is, is you can, if you have to work on something, see, these go in here, and then you tighten this down, that locks them in. If you've got to work on something, let's shut some lights off here. I still have the garage door open, but. See? You can, uh, from our last project we did, you can work on it. See if I shut the light out. I know it's not that dark in here, but, but you can see it is, it is a big difference. Let me shut the uh, garage door. Okay, we have the garage door closed. Now, as you can see, now you can see to work on things if you have to. Of course, it's not LED because they didn't have them back then. So that's pretty cool. And then again, the first click, you can use it as a flashlight. That's uh, pretty impressive just for two C batteries. I mean, back in the day, I'll bet you people was going, wow, that thing's bright. Okay. So there it is. Um, I'm going to clean this up. I'm not going to uh, bore you with that because, well, I'm not, I'm not doing a full restoration on it. I'm not going to re-chrome it or anything. I think it's just fine the way it is. Um, so... I mean, you know, I'll, I'll clean it up. I'll clean the bag up the best I can. I'm sure you'll see it in other videos. Um, but here, I'll give you another look at this. There it is. Huh, maybe that'll be the thumbnail. Okay, there you guys go. So, um, Ash Flash. So I'm going to check that out. Like I said, if I find out anything on it, I'll put it across the screen earlier. You will have already seen it. But if not, anyway, that's the end of that. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And uh, hope everyone's staying safe and hope everyone is well. With that being said, don't forget to check out BXX32. Um, ben, you're doing an awesome job. Okay? Um, so... Whatever you decide to do, buddy, I, I got your back, you know. I'll, I'll give you 100% of, you know, support, whatever you decide. Monkey1000, you are doing an excellent job, too. Very well done, getting creative, and keep up the good work. And I'm Shea Bear, the Myth Man Legend, and I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Thanks for watching.